In Friday's daily briefing, Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti confirmed 14 new positive cases of coronavirus. The county's total stands at 433. Fortunately, there were no new fatalities reported. The total number of deaths is still 17. 234 cases are active, 20 patients are hospitalized, and 182 cases are resolved. It's been 62 days since New York had its first confirmed case of coronavirus. As of Thursday, a Approximately 308,314 residents have tested positive statewide. In Governor Cuomo's daily address, he said that the state is seeing roughly 900 to 1,000 new hospitalizations each day, but he says this number is still entirely way too high. Cuomo says in order to continue to decrease the spread of the virus, we must understand which people are getting infected. He is calling on the hospitals for more specific information about new cases of coronavirus. Are they essential workers? Where do they work? How do they commute? Where do they live? What's the person's gender, age, and health condition? Cuomo says that understanding a patient's demographics ultimately helps us target our efforts a little bit more effectively. The governor has also announced that all K through 12 schools and college facilities must continue to provide distance learning and they will remain closed for the rest of the academic year. A decision on summer school programs will be announced at the end of May. Cuomo says that the state will have to approve a plan submitted by all schools and colleges, which must include a protocol in case a pandemic of this nature happens again. For more COVID-19 updates, you can tune into our stations WUTR and WFXV. The next daily briefing will be Monday, May 4th, right here on our website, cnyhomepage.com.